Scorpio, hi. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh la la, we got the strength as the overall energy. Dude, that's tough. I feel, I don't know, without even looking at the spread completely, I feel you're both completely holding back. Like, you know, it's like a tug of war going on. Like, no, you open up. Like, no, you open up. Like, no, I'm stronger. It's like, no, I'm stronger. You know, it's like, no, you will talk first. Like, no, you will talk first, you know? Stuff like that. In the past, we had a breakup, shake up, something ended badly. But yes, this is the Tao moment in the past year, this, which tells me that you had a lot of red signals, you know, you had a lot of red flags from the universe, you refused to listen to the universe, okay, so that's why they had to intervene, and they had to blow things up, yeah, otherwise you would never move, is what I'm hearing. The moon in reverse in the near future, in the current situation, this is telling me that something's going to be revealed, okay, some truth is going to be revealed. This looks like you're going to have clarity about a situation, but someone who has a lot of emotions for you, right, is finally going to open up, okay. In the near future, we have the page of pentacles in reverse here. So yeah, there is a lot of procrastination which could lead to a missed opportunity. Okay, someone's probably thinking about whether they want to invest into this relationship or not, or they're just waiting for the right time, which is leading to a lot of procrastination, which can lead to a missed opportunity. Okay, dealing with someone very immature, could be an earth sign, doesn't have to be. Right now, what you're doing is the king of swords here, along with ace of wands in reverse in your emotions. You want communication, but I'm feeling that right now you're being very logical, okay? You're not letting your emotions drive you away. You're taming your emotions, suppressing your emotions, taming your uh, energy, your passion, everything for this person, okay? But you're like, you know what? No, I got to deal with the facts. I got to take account of what happened in the past with this person. Only facts, only logic, only being rational, okay? You're not taking action. You feel, you know, it's almost like you've had so many false starts with this person. For you, it's like, you know what? If it's going to be another false start, I'm not up for it, okay? So you're not taking action. The person you're dealing with is the page of cups in reverse here. Again, more immaturity, okay? So someone who's just not opening up. The page of cups in reverse is someone who has a very hard time opening up emotionally, okay? This, this person does not want to be vulnerable. But again, I'm getting that immature expression of love, okay? But this is someone here who's trying to manipulate, beating around the bush, okay? They like to be chased, so yeah. That's what they're doing. They're making, they're wanting you to chase, but doesn't look like Scorpio wants to chase. Scorpio never chases, baby. Uh uh, that's not us. All right, two of wands here. There's gonna be a decision that's gonna be have to, you're gonna have to make a decision, is what I'm getting, okay, with the two of wands here. All right, let's clarify. Why is the strength here as the overall situation for Scorpio? Why is the strength here as the overall situation for Scorpio, please? <clears throat> you stop feeding to a connection, okay? This is a connection that you were nurturing, feeding, there was growth, expansion. You were giving it your all, okay? You've pulled back completely because this is someone who constantly keeps sabotaging the connection, okay? That's the kind of energy you're dealing with. Nine of Wands in reverse in the world here. You ended your connection with someone who was very inconsistent, someone very immature, insincere, okay? This is someone very unreliable, someone very hot and cold, okay? One moment they want you, the next moment they don't, and you're like, what the fuck is going on, you know? So yeah, that's the kind of energy you're dealing with. But the Nine of Wands, again, very flighty, all right? And you're like, you know what, bro? I'm done. I'm done, you know? You ended a cycle with this person here, and now you're holding back, Okay? This person that you're dealing with, you walked away from them, okay? Because this person tends to sabotage the connection. That's what I'm getting over and over again, okay? You know what I'm getting? The kind of person that you're dealing with, <clears throat> this is someone who plays a lot of mind games, okay? They always want to have the last word. They always want to win, you know? And uh, they want to win on, at all costs, okay? But um, this person always has the empty victory, okay? They push you away to the point of where they really want you, but then they just sabotage it, okay? And you're feeling defeated and you walked away from this person here, okay? Because of their patterns of being in and out. This person, they just um, push things away due to fear, okay? Their, their guards are up. They, they're just not honest and real with themselves, okay? About what they feel about you. And you just had no choice. And right now you're holding back. All right, tell me. Tell me about the moon in reverse. What is the moon in reverse in the current situation? Oh, 
hello baby there is someone here who's coming back to revive this connection there is someone here who wants to recover okay the worst is over they're putting things behind and they want to recover okay someone wants to move towards you sweetheart this is someone who wants to communicate with you okay and they're taking action this could also be to be someone who wants a brand new baking, okay, with Ace of Pentacles. They want to start a new cycle with you, but the cycle has a lot of commitment, a lot of stability, security, okay. Something that's going to take a lot of effort, a lot of investment, okay, to get this off ground. But yeah, that's what they're ready to offer you, okay. Something stable. And the King of Wands, this is what, who's looking at you. They have a lot of love for you, a lot of love for you. Again, this was the same person who was holding back, okay, hiding their feelings, okay, not being very honest with their feelings, okay. Could be a lot of fear, probably fear of commitment, okay? But they're coming towards you. This person's moving towards you. Could be someone who's relocating, okay? Or I feel that you are wanting, you're, there's a situation where you're moving into calmer waters, okay? With more smoother communication, okay? Communication is going to get better. They're coming out of rocky waters, okay? And um, it's more like, I feel the moment you be like, whatever happens, happens, okay? That's what your attitude is, you know, and you're moving away from this person. The moment you move away, they're coming in with that offer. That's what's happening here. I think you already have moved away, but yeah, it's like you were forced to get out of this situation, right? Because it was there was no giving here. You know, you were all they were only taking. What's the page of pentacles in reverse? Who is this page of pentacles in reverse in the near future? Yeah, bro. You're done, baby. We have the death in reverse, queen of wands in reverse, and the temperance here. Someone you're dealing with, okay, who's very immature, like I said, right? You're just no longer interested in this person, okay? They're too slow. -moving. I think you're trying to heal yourself, okay? You're staying away from shit talkers. You're staying away from someone, from any kind of drama, chaos, okay? For you, it's like if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Like the six of swords that I said, right? It's like what happens, happens, you know? And you're like just leaving it to the universe. You're like, if it happens, it happens in divine timing. You have, you're exercising a lot of self-control, okay? You literally realize that what is not meant for you, it's okay. And if it's meant for you, it's going to come to you, okay? No stress, no anxiety, no chasing, no chaos, all right? We have a queen of wands in reverse here. So this is telling me that you're just not taking action. You're just not taking the initiative right now, okay? Because you're not feeling too confident in this connection. This is someone who's making you feel very insecure, Okay? And you're not having it. However, they won't let you go and they won't even invest, okay? This is someone who doesn't give you a very genuine, genuine offer, okay? At least from the ace, we're getting into the page. Now, this is a literal person here, okay? So, what I'm seeing is in the current situation, there is someone here where there is an opportunity, okay? For a new beginning here, okay? Someone wants to get to a better space with you, okay? at least communication-wise, okay? And um, in the near future here... They're not letting you go, okay, because they're repeating the same patterns because this person has fear of change, okay, like, oh my God, oh my God, like my life's going to change completely if I commit to Scorpio, if I get into a relationship with Scorpio, what else, what else is going on? This person has a very false image of what a relationship is. Maybe in the past they had a relationship where someone was very controlling and they completely had to sacrifice themselves or someone screwed them over, you know, anything, okay, but someone has a bad uh, history out here, okay. They refuse to let their patterns end. So yeah, that's the kind of person that you're dealing with in the near future, okay? Someone very immature, okay? Someone very focused on their money also, but then that's also screwed up. They're not even doing very well with the money. But I feel this is definitely someone here you're giving up on, okay? You're like, you know what? I'm done. Because if I'm not getting the stability, security from you, I'm done. So yeah. But it's like temperance. I feel like you're just leaving it, you know, to God. Leaving it to the universe, you know? No chasing, no anxiety is what I'm hearing again and again. Like I put in the, the work, okay, and now it's up to you. So Scorpio, you're like, it's up to the person to put in the work. If they're showing up as the knight and the page here, you're like, no thanks. All right. <clears throat> What's the page of cups in reverse? The page of cups in reverse, knight of wands in reverse. Very mature energy, you know. They want, they want you, but they can't make it happen. Or one moment they want you, the next moment they don't. They want you because they love you. When they pull back, is because they don't want to commit to you, okay? Or they just don't know if it's the right decision, you know? Five the page of cups in reverse here. This is what you don't see coming. This is what's in your environment. What's the page of cups in reverse? Someone still refuses to open up emotionally. <clears throat> the chariot king of swords in reverse. The magician in reverse. You're cutting out 
someone who's been very, very manipulative with you, okay? This is someone who just either has a lot of self-doubt of whether they can make things happen with you, but someone who's cold, detached, okay? They have real bad problems communicating, okay? They just won't talk. They're manipulating the situation, you know? They'll try to get what they want. They'll use their intelligence, you know, to um, get what they want, etc. okay? But very, very manipulative, okay? Someone very cold, like I'm getting, okay? And with the chariot here... This person could be living at a distance from you, okay? This person has a lot of strong will, okay, to make things happen with you, to move towards you. But they just won't talk. And that's why you're just forced to cut them out, okay? Because magician in reverse, right? You feel this person always has a trick up their sleeve or they're always wearing a false mask, okay? You're not... This is a situation that's going nowhere, okay? Because we do have the empress in reverse here at the bottom of the deck. You're not feeling it. You just feel it's a waste of time, Yeah? Because you gave in in the past, right? You're exhausted. You're tired. You're fed up. That's why I see how logically you're looking at the situation here. So it's like, you know what? This person's super conflicted in their head, okay? With the chariot here, this person wants to move towards you at full speed, okay? They want to travel towards you. This is someone you're living at a distance from. They want to... Even if this is not someone at a distance from, this is that strong will, determination to overcome the obstacles, okay? But they lack the confidence, you know, of making things happen with you. And that's why you gotta cut them off, okay? You gotta cut them off. Or you are, or you have. Like, they just won't give you the real picture. It's like, why do you have to beat around the bush, you know? So this person has a tendency of beating around the bush. They won't get to the point. They, they're not really very honest talkers, you know? Someone who won't give you the truth on the face, you know? The king of swords is someone like that, you know. They'll tell you what it is, you know. And the way it is. But right now you're cutting this person out because it's like, you know what? I ain't got no time for this, you know. All right. Why is the ace of wands in reverse here in your, in your emotions, in your feelings? You're not feeling something. Why is the ace of wands in reverse here in your emotions? Yeah. See, this person, six of cups here at the bottom of the deck. You have a lot of emotions for this person. This person is your soulmate, okay. You have a lot of love for them, okay? But you see things for what it is. And what it is is that with the four of wands in reverse here, there is, the truth is that there is a lack of commitment here. The truth is that this is just not getting to that point of stability, security. There is a lack of harmony, okay? This person refuses to commit to you. Maybe this is someone here who comes in and out of your life hot and cold, okay? They have all the emotions in the world for you. But when it comes to putting a label on this connection, you know, that's when... It's just not happening. That's why you're not taking action, you know. You're just not interested in wanting a new beginning with this person. Because no matter how much you love them, that love has no point here if it's not reaching the next level. You don't want to go in circles with this person, okay. And you're very clear about that. Why the two of wands here? Why is this the most best potential outcome for Scorpio? What's the two of wands here? Someone needs to make a decision. What's the decision about? Tell me about the two of wands. Let me want the two of wands. Let me want my So yeah, we have the nine of swords, the seven of cups in reverse, the king of pentacles in reverse, and the six of pentacles again. So there is this need or there is someone who's wanting to have this equal give and take with you, okay? Someone wants to balance the situation out, okay? Someone is coming in to offer you reciprocity, okay? Because I feel this person here has made a choice, okay? The seven of cups in reverse is coming to a conclusion, okay? This person is no longer, either this person was keeping you in options, okay? Or this person just was keeping an open mind and they weren't choosing you, okay? This person has a reality check, okay? And they're coming to a realization that they want you, okay? And they want this with you, okay? They want to uh, balance out the situation. They're ready to give in, okay? They're not going to be the taker anymore, but uh, they're ready to give in. I think the stress and worry is probably coming from your side because now you need to make a choice here with the two of wands here. You're just very worried about what you're going to do or this is someone here who you're making wait for a decision and they're very worried about what to do. Because king of pentacles in reverse here. Someone is either still non-committal or this is you who's just very focused on your own goals and you don't really give a shit to this person. See, I feel this is you, okay, because king of swords here, right? You are you have emotions, but you're just not in it. Because you know what I'm getting? You have the fears that probably this person is going to, it's like the same shit different day, you know? You feel this person's giving, going around in circles with you, okay? Although they are very clear, they're clear about what they want, okay? They know they want what they want, and they want is you. But again, probably the way they're coming in is, right? 
you want the ten of pentacles you want that ultimate fulfillment okay you want marriage you want to be that power couple out here you just don't want small baits and there is a lot of stress and anxiety around this okay someone you i think someone's gonna have a lot of sleepless nights about the decision that you need to make because you're gonna make them wait you're gonna make this person wait okay whoever's coming whoever you need to make a decision on this is definitely someone here who is stressing about this a lot okay but with the king of pentacles in reverse here either you are going to be some you're going to be very focused on yourself or this is someone here who's just not into long term okay they're coming in but this is someone who's also struggling financially right so that's what the outcome is the decision is going to be up to you scorpio you're going to have to make a choice they're coming in with that offer more than an offer they're coming in like okay this time i'm ready to do what it takes okay like they're ready to meet you halfway but you're not going to make a choice which is stressing the shit out of them okay so that's what i have for you scorpio it's going to be up to you baby this is what i have for you i hope this reading resonates with you if it does do leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye See you next time. Bye-bye.